Hello, I'm Eric Miller. And I'm Haven Paul. We're coming to you from Studio 623, located inside Foxley's Art and Framing in downtown Appleton. This is the Sunday, May 19th edition of the Art News of Northeast Wisconsin. If you have a visual arts event, show, or news story, please share it with us at wisconsinartpost.com. Be sure to visit artnews.com often for news updates and show information in Northeast Wisconsin. Paul, you were supposed to be on vacation this week. I was, Eric. What um, happened? Well, we just had a small situation at home, not a big deal. Um, but uh, rather than go away, we decided to do a staycation, as okay. they call it. All right. Yeah, we went up to Green Lake just to visit the Heidel House one last time before, okay. they, before they closed. And then we went to downtown Princeton, um, went to the antique stores. Mm -hmm. Um, we ran into a little place called Day's Eye, where we met Matt, Matt and Jessica. Oh. They're running a nice little fair trade operation there. You can visit them at dayseye.com. We'll put the link up for you. Just a nice little fair trade store there. Nice. Yeah. And then we were able to get a, a news program and seeing how you didn't go on vacation. We That's were. Yeah, absolutely. Right. I get to work. <laughs> <laughs> Today we'd like to start the show by paying our respects to Appleton's fallen firefighter. He was lost Thursday in an incident near our library. We were moved by the procession that we witnessed right outside here on College Avenue. It's touching to see the support pouring out from other communities and our hearts go out to the families and friends affected by this terrible loss. It was a, a bad day for Appleton. A very bad day for Appleton. Um, but uh, yeah, our hearts do go out. On a lighter note, Sturgeon Bay is having their 21st annual Fine Arts Fair. Uh, the fair does open the 25th and 26th in Sunset Park on the waterfront at 10 a.m. You can kick off the summer, this Memorial Day weekend, um, and find the perfect piece of handcrafted fine art mm -hmm. from this popular two-day juried event. Nice. Uh, children and families are welcome to paint a sturgeon and take it home. <laughs> a live one? <laughs> Maybe if they use watercolor. Ooh, well, no, I don't know that they'd stay on. And they might not. Who knows? Let's hope it's not live. <laughs> Be sure to visit the raffle tent to win a unique piece of original art. A variety of mediums will be available from 90 Wisconsin artists. That's, over 90. That's great. Yep. For more information, contact the Sturgeon Bay Visitors Center at 920-743-6246 or email vacation at sturgeonbay.net. All right. Richardson School of Art and Gallery is currently hosting the Wisconsin Watercolor Society's 2019 exhibit. Speaking of watercolors. <laughs> this show runs until June 8th and features diverse and original paintings created by members of the Wisconsin Watercolor Society. I'm here with Shannon at Richardson's School of Art and Gallery. Uh, tell us about the watercolor show you've got up. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, the, the main exhibit that we have currently, which is up through June 8th, is actually the Wisconsin Watercolor Society Members Exhibit. Uh -huh. um, the Wisconsin Watercolor Society is a group that was established all the way back in 1952 hmm. and started in the Milwaukee area but has greatly expanded and now does encompass the entire state of Wisconsin. Nice. Um, when, was, when was your opening for this show? Uh, the opening for this show was actually about three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, so we're, uh, we're, so we're about the mid. Okay. Yeah, we're about the midpoint of, okay. of the main Did you have a good turnout for the opening? We had a wonderful turnout. It was a rainy day, but we still had quite a few of the members come up, and, and then we did have a nice, a nice group of people from the public. The general public is always invited to our opening receptions. Great. And um, are all these pieces for sale, or are they just for show? So for our main exhibits, the artists themselves do dictate whether or not they would like them for sale or not for sale. Uh, generally speaking, about 80 to 90 percent of them are available for sale, um, with just a, a select few that are not. They may have already been sold um, and are being borrowed back from a collector, or they are the artist's property and have been chosen to be kept so nice 
And so they are from all over the state. All the, these artists come from all over different parts of Wisconsin. Yes, and they do have to be juried in uh, to be a member in this society. Um, there was one piece, actually, that the members had to vote on to determine whether or not that artist would be selected to be a member. Hmm. Um, and they voted on that night. They have not told me if, if they were accepted. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> How, how many members approximately do they have in that group? Um, they've told me it's about 100 members okay. at this point, okay. and it is all strictly watercolor, so it is all watercolor, um, oh, yeah. or water media. Yeah. Um, a couple of them do incorporate a little bit, but most of them are traditional uh, transparent watercolor. Okay. Well, it's a beautiful show. You've got a, a lot of nice different types of watercolors here. It seems to showcase all sorts of different things that you can do with the, that medium. It really does. I mean, I was really happy. I didn't get to see the show until it arrived and, and was set to be hung. Um, so we've got quite a nice balance of landscape, figure, portrait, and abstract, which we don't always see a lot in our facility. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Well, thank you, Shannon. Thanks for joining us today. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be back at Richardson's again. You guys have <laughs> uh, great shows here and uh, competitions, and uh, we always love coming out here. Thank you so much. Richardson's always puts on a great show there. Yeah, they yeah. put on a lot of good shows there. Yeah. They've got a great facility, and uh, they're just great promoters of art. They really are. I need to get over there and see that show. You do? I do. <laughs> <laughs> this exhibit will teach how truly diverse watercolors can be. For information on the show and others, please visit richesongallery.com. I will do that for sure. <laughs> good. Good. Yeah, get over there and check it out. I will, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Bo Thomas is in the news again. Again. Yep, again. He's everywhere. You know, he's been painting those murals all over Wisconsin. Yep. Um, and he recently finished another one. Okay. This one's located inside one of the Happy Trails CBD stores. Happy Trails. Happy Trails. Apparently there's a few stores. I haven't been there yet, but you can visit them at happytrailscbd.com. Hmm. Uh, he also had the privilege of doing the label design for the 2019 Locals Only Beer. Nice. Every year, the Green Bay Area breweries team up, and they create a specialty brew for craft beer week. Is there, a bird, Is there, in there? a bird in here? Bro, oh, my gosh. Um, for craft beer week, Bo was chosen to create the label for, uh, for this year's can. Okay. Uh, go find these at your local retailer before they're all gone. And don't forget to vote, visit Bo at Trackside Design. Dot com. <laughs> Appleton kicked off the season last Friday with the first Art on the Town. They did. Art on the Town happens the third Friday of every month from May through September. Appleton added a new feature this year with what they're calling the West End Sideshow. Yes. We went out to check out the West End Sideshow for ourselves and see what's happening. Take a look. information on Appleton's Art on the Town event, visit appletondowntown.org slash art on the town. And that wraps it up for this week's episode of the Art News of Northeast Wisconsin. Please send us all your information about upcoming shows and events so we can make these news segments even longer than today. All their information? Well, some of their information. Some of your information to wisconsinartpost.com. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks.